Imagine a colour you can't name. Not purple, not blue. Something that doesn't exist to human eyes. Hummingbirds see those colours every day. They have supervision, literally. I see red, I see green, I see blue. They see red, they see green, they see blue and ultraviolet. A fourth cone in their eyes unlocks a hidden layer of the world. Mix UV with any other colour. You get non-spectral colours. Combinations my brain can't picture. Hummingbirds can. Why does that matter? Flowers. A blossom that looks plain white to me can blaze with UV patterns to them. Arrows, landing strips, secret signs inked by sunlight. Nectar guides. Here's the sugar. To me, nothing. To them, neon billboards. It's not just the petals. Feathers tell secrets in ultraviolet. A male hummingbird's throat looks like a tidy iridescent patch to my eyes. Under UV, it's a coded message. Health, age, status. When they flash their gorget at the right angle, they're broadcasting on a channel I don't get. They don't just see UV, they see blends. UV green, UV red, hues I can't label. Experiments with filtered feeders show them choosing those blends on purpose. To them, green is a palette. To me, it's a word. Think about forest light. Dappled shade is messy and grey to us. For a hummingbird, UV bounces off leaves, petals, tiny insects. The background quiets. The important bits shine. Imagine a crowded room. Only your friends are in colour. That's breakfast for a hummingbird. Speed helps too. Their brains process flicker faster. Their eyes track motion with mist. The UV channel gives contrast when flowers shift in the wind. It's like a high refresh, wide gamut display on your face. Next time you see that jewel hovering, I'm seeing a spark. They're seeing a lighthouse. Whole constellations of cues painted in inks I don't have. I can point a camera and slow it down and call it beautiful. But they were built to read the beauty I can't. In a world lit by ultraviolet, the smallest bird carries the biggest palette.